In this Microsoft Teams uh, training video, we're going to look at adding a speed dial and a new group into your Teams environment. Where do we find such icons to do this? In the speed dial section, we'll see we have add a speed dial and a new group. Now, when we add a speed dial, as the name implies, for those of you who are used to a phone system where you press the button and it called somebody, same thing applies. The speed dial, we can either put an email address, which will enable you to call, person using Microsoft Teams in your organization or another organization or a phone number. So we will go and add one uh, training session person and uh, forget the typo but we can see there that we can add it. It didn't find any 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 matches. Go and put Contoso 3 forget a title and we can go and put a telephone number in. In fact, it's probably not a good example. There we go, and hit add, and there we have it. That's uh, that's pretty much added that speed dial to the equation, and a new group. Same thing, type of group or name. Group name. The group name could be coming from your Office 365 uh, administrator. Um, I can call this um, Yaylink Rep or Yaylink, I should say. Um, and when we come back and have a look, we can see that we've got um, Yaylink. Obviously, no contacts in there. But it's that simple. Right? That's how to add a speed dial in a new group.